So my name is Kibio Mesa um, and yes, you call me Haskit, which is actually an upcoming brand. And this is what I do. I build drones and robots. And it's something that I've been researching for a while now. I've spent a lot, I've uh, invested a lot. And this is how far I've been able to come. And I'm calling on whoever is willing and has the ability and has interest in Africa and the youth and our development and the future of our children today to come on board with me. Let's go on this journey. Let's be able to develop this further, build into products and give it to our nation to be able to serve us. Because this is a phase we are entering in that is inevitable. One day, taxis may not be on the roads. These drones will be flying with us and sending us wherever we have to be without traffic and all the stress. So come on board with me, support me, um, encourage me. Let's push Africa to a new level. We have the ability, we have the strength, we have the knowledge and the partnership, good partnership, we should be able to take this as far as we can be able to take it to the ends of the earth. This Ghana to the world, this Africa to the world. And this has it in Ghana. Thank you. Thank you once again as usual for joining me on my YouTube channel over here. As usual, you've always been following me, moving across the country to um, actually discover people with special talent. And today, I hope you've seen what I'm holding over here. That is a drone, yes. Uh, this drone was made by a Ghanaian. Oh yes, you heard me right. Yes, it's made by a Ghanaian residing over here in Ghana. And you know what? Whenever there is a talented person, you will find Mr. Atasmart over there. And today, I have come into the capital city of Ghana. That's the regional city, Accra. I'm inside Accra, Fulani, uh, Ashiye town. Yes, that is where I am actually standing. And I'm going to speak with this young and brilliant and talented man. In fact, this is what we call talent. This man stays over here and he has been able to come out and manufacture this that i'm holding and that is the controller over here as you saw some um a short video of it flying up there yes we're actually going to fly it and the main um footage for you to know please if today happens to be your first time joining me over here take some few seconds of your time click on the subscribe button be part of this wonderful family and don't forget as usual to share this particular video to reach a lot of people so that the world will also know that Ghanaians and Africans, we also have special talents. I have with me over here, the man behind all these drones that you have seen. I am going straight away to have a talk, to have a conversation, a fruitful one indeed, with this brilliant man. Oh, Chairman, um, good day. Yeah, hello. How are you doing? Finally. By grace, I'm doing well. So, what is this one? Okay, so this is a okay. drone I built for capturing, I mean, uh -huh. sweet events, okay. landscapes. Yes. Uh, yeah. Okay. So it has a, a powerful camera beneath it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And the controller to. Uh -huh. It allows you to be able to, I mean, position it in a 360 angle. Wow. And go around without any challenge. Oh, okay. The kind of setting. It has about three modes that you can fly in. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And it can last about, mm -hmm. let's say, 20 minutes in the sky. Oh, okay. Yeah. 20 good minutes in the sky. Yes. Wow. Please, are you the one behind this? Yes. And I see a bigger one over here. Yeah. You're also the one behind this one. Yes, sunny. And the other ones as well. Actually, we're going to concentrate on our attention on these two outside here and then right after that the rest we're going to also have time on them talk about them all before we leave here my brother what's your name so my name is you hold Lydia this one Mensa. for me okay and uh i'm also known as pasgate oh okay 
Passgate. Yes, so when we set up the company and we are producing everywhere, uh -huh. the name you hear is Passgate. Passgate, get the spellings. Uh, P A S G I D. Okay. Oh, okay. Passgate. Yeah. That's gonna be a company name. Yeah. So that means right now you don't have a company, right? Or you are yet to. Now, so being able to get all these things uh, done. Yeah. Then we are ready to produce for people to use. Okay. Wow. Uh, and teach others to how to. Yeah. Build. So okay. So where do you come from? Okay. So. I come from mm -hmm. Shama. Okay. That's where my mom uh -huh. comes from. Oh, okay. Where I actually stayed is Bremani Skuma. Oh, okay. So that's where I, I started school. I mean, I was born there. I started school there almost up to uh, 18 years of my life. Oh, okay. That's where I was. Uh, wow. That's wow. where my parents are even currently. Mm, at um, Skuma, the Mas central Skuma. region. In the central region. So are you a Fante? Yes, I'm a You know how to speak the Fanti, right? Ah! <laughs> <laughs> uh, you don't know how to speak it that I way. Went to, I went to tech okay. for four years. After four years, I stayed there for a while. Mm -hmm. So the tree and the Fanti has mixed. Mixed together. Okay. So you can tell there is some Fanti in my okay, um, Akan language. Oh, okay. But you can also see some traces of different different sources. Oh, okay. Like, I'm even finding because it. myself, I know how to speak the Fanti. Oh, so okay. I was even about okay. to challenge you so that we actually oh, we, we can, get we can onto actually the battlefield with the Fanti. You can bring it on. <laughs> Okay, so how do I start? <laughs> All right, so just that, by the way, so, so let's. Um, you 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 started from you said Shama and then um, um, Bremai Sikuma, right? Yeah. Okay, so from there, your your educational background. Yeah, so now mm -hmm. I'm from Sikuma. Let me see GHS. Okay. I went to Infant Spin in Cape Coast. Okay, that was for four years. And after Infant Spin, I went to Tech. Oh, okay. And I so. In, Take, um, That's um, my... Kumasi, right? Yes, Kumasi. Oh, okay. Ken UST. Ken UST. Okay. Like, in infant spin, I was doing science. Okay. Yeah, general science. So wow. They're all uh, biology and all yes. those things. Is it yeah, the, the reason why you are calm? So, you know, the science <laughs> students, they are very calm. Most of them. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. Whilst you are talking, you are thinking about some other things. Oh, okay. Anyway. Wow. Yes. Okay. Uh, and that nature also, I think it helps us. Oh, okay. Because um, that's what people need. Okay. Mm. Usually, some will be wearing spectacles and just working cool. Yeah, yeah, you know what's cool. Going on. <laughs> Actually, always busy in mind, yes. thinking to come up with something. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So after tech, mm -hmm. yeah. So mm -hmm. I did science in fact, we went to tech to was here as engineering. Okay. And that place, I mean, it's opened me up to a lot of these things that I'm doing. Mm. I mean, if you understand materials, okay. my mom thought it was a. Uh, <laughs> what do you call it? I mean, G P uh, G T P, right? Oh, okay. And then uh, N T L, those uh -huh. materials yes. that they sold to wear. Uh -huh. uh -huh. But I explained to her that no, it's engineering materials. Okay. okay. Materials like um, wood. Wood is a material. Okay. Um, concrete is a material. Okay. Metal is a material. Yes. Ceramic is a material. Okay. Glass uh, is yes. a material. Composite material. Okay. Plastics all, and all that. Yes, they are Good. all material. Mm. So. This knowledge, I mean, it really helped me a lot in terms of how to come up with um, structures. But this thing like this, if you don't consider materials, you fail. Mm. You have the best flight controller, but your structure will fail and the drone will not fly. Okay. Yeah. Wow. All right. So um, after that, currently, what's your highest level of education? Did um, tech, tech, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. So um, after that, how many um, works have you come out with so far? Yeah, so I started with robotics. Oh, okay. It was in my final year. Mm -hmm. I decided to focus on DIY builds, like trying to understand how certain technological um, components work. Okay. So in robotics like this, I was more interested in the upcoming tech. Okay. So robotics is something that is upcoming. Okay, yeah. And now, if you go to other parts of the world, you see automated robots yes, serving yes, at restaurants and yes. uh, automated systems in the machinery. Mm. That's at industries, okay. building stuff. Yes, I recently even saw one. Um, those ones were in the studio. Was he seen at the place monitoring the, uh, exactly. the uh, yes, exactly. the audience over there? And exactly. I was like, wow. wow. So I was really into then. Mostly, I'm interested in the basics of what makes up 
that advancement somewhere. So I want to go into the motherboard, I want to go into the motor, I want to go into the structure. Uh, Mostly I'm not really confused about the outside or what is going on inside. Uh, so I decided to do more researches. Okay. Usually I used to use wood to build my structures and I use simple electronics oh, okay. where you connect battery to a motor, motor to a switch. Mm -hmm. I was able to use that simple principle to build interesting things. Wow. So I built my own remotes where they can move forward, back, left, right. I oh, used that same system to build obstacle avoiding sensors. Oh, okay. I built one robot that um, sweeps. Okay. So if it passes here, all the leaves, it will pick it up. Oh, I see. And if it should hit an obstacle, we'll see that. Oh, okay. Then it will turn the other way. Wow. Without using programming. Oh, I see. Yeah. So okay. from there, mm -hmm. um, there is a friend of mine from Infancy Pen. Okay. So he has had access with programming, yes. hardware, microcontrollers, and all of that. Okay. We call that Arduino. Okay. It's one type Arduino. Mm. So he used to sell some of these parts. One time he said we should go and do some exhibition somewhere. Mm. And he gave me a microcontroller. But usually, you have to give me a chassis. Mm -hmm. That's the, the fiscal body. Okay. So I said, now nah, I know how to build these fiscal structures. Now I have a microcontroller, which is a brain. Mm -hmm. Let me combine the two. So I was able to use my chances knowledge to build a, an obstacle avoiding robot and a Bluetooth control robot. Oh, okay. And he hadn't seen some before. Oh, okay. <laughs> wow. But wow. yeah, there's this custom um, mm -hmm. wheel yes. and uh, a custom tire that you buy from somewhere Great. yeah when i see those things i get infuriated a little <laughs> but i mean everything that you are learning with you have to literally buy and sometimes some way yeah. me i have a small motor i'll okay. use that a dvd motor i'll use that one mm. and i was able to use it to move heavy stuff and that motor is very weak okay so you don't know how to couple it with mechanical systems like pulleys and gears then it wouldn't work. Mm. But we were able to find our way around to, to learn the basics. Oh, okay. So from robotics, mm -hmm. um, I think during the robot, I built a big robot. It was somehow a bit taller than this. Okay. That was supposed to serve as a mess. Mm. So, a mess? Yeah. Oh, okay. So I built an arm. I remember I even sending it to MTN Apps Challenge. Oh, okay. But I had a problem with my battery. Mm -hmm. So during the presentation, Oh. Once I put it on, boom, it go off. Oh, I see. They told me to come back three times. Okay. The last one, the charger I was supposed to use to. Someone gave me an idea that I should connect the charger directly, and it broke down. Oh. So now it's my end at the uh, end. Yeah. Okay. Wow. So from there, I realized I have to go deeper. Oh. And I also heard of drones. I had seen some flyers. I had done my own researches and experiments using the normal motors I said I was using the DVD motors. Yeah. And I realized they were not suitable, they were not lifting. Okay. okay. One time I tried an experiment with uh, several motors, very tiny, tiny motors. Mm. And I made my custom propellers and put them on. Okay. And when I connected battery, wow. <laughs> wow, that was so a breakthrough. That, yes. Wow. For me to do just anything, mm -hmm. for me to fly, even wow. the propellers I cut mm -hmm. with plastic and I molded it, the thing flew. I said, okay, mm -hmm. so I now get it. Wow. So that was where I said, mm, huh? this is interesting. I have to continue. So the attention was shifted from the robotics to, to this. the drones. But oh, there is wow. a, a, a sweet point that they are going to merge okay. one day. Mm. After this, I'm moving to AI. Okay, AI. Oh, okay. Creating them on hardware, mm. and then I'll combine robotics, drones, and AI to be intelligence. Okay, and that will be the ultimate. Be something great. Yes. <laughs> wow. So that is the journey uh, so far for Mr. Gideon Mensa over here in Ashiye Fulani. Is that Accra, the Greater Accra region in Ghana, West Africa? We're still over here discovering people with special talent in this beautiful city as you can see the environment in fact 
Accra is one of the beautiful cities in Africa and the world. Yes, and this particular uh, part of Ghana is also having special people like Mr. Gideon, as you have been hearing from uh, him. In fact, we're actually going to fly this drone that you see over here. I'm sure you've watched some short videos over here, but right away, we're going to fly it. Actually, today I'm going to fly a drone, yes. And so I'm going to be a drone pilot. I think that is how they call those who operate drones. So I'm going to fly today. So don't go anywhere, please. If you are having interest in this conversation, take a few seconds of your time, wherever you're watching us from, to click on the red button over there, the subscribe button. Click on it right away if you have not done so. And then you know what? After that, you click on the notification bell so that whenever there is a discovery video like this, you can also have a watch of these and don't forget to share so that i get you a lot of people over there in fact the conversation is getting interesting and you wouldn't want to miss any stick and stay as we continue mr gideon um before we come into the thing that you have made i want us to um operate the drones i want us to operate the uh, the, the younger boy over here okay. do you have names for them hmm. Mm -hmm. i think i'm yet to... oh okay no, for now it's just a technical name okay I'll say this is uh, a camera drone. This one is a screen drone. Oh, okay. One of the functions. Yeah. Yeah. We should actually talk about the functions. Yes, but uh, maybe this one, we we'll that this one, that will be smart. Smart. So, Mr. Yeah, smart. And then this one. So, this smart. This one has some, some uh, abilities on it. Sure. Oh, okay. The small one. So, then my name will be on this one. <laughs> 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 All right, so uh, before we fly the drones, um, let's talk about your fancy, your purpose. Let's okay. talk about the, um, the bigger one first. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, can, so I, can I lift it, lift yes. it up? Oh, okay. All right. So, oh, okay. Wow. Uh -huh. It's, it's heavy. <laughs> wow, this thing that I'm holding over here. It's heavy. Oh, yeah. yeah so six kilograms of Yes. Weight. Wow. So I'm now a heavyweight champion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I've been able to. Yeah, you see, yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about this one. Um, what does it do specifically? So, mm -hmm. one iconic view of it is the tank. Yeah, and this tank is supposed to hold liquid. Oh, okay. And um, the liquid is supposed to uh -huh. come out from the side. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Okay, please. Let me go. Okay. come out from. This side, right? Yes. So oh, this okay. is called a centrifugal nozzle. Okay. This thing is, is very expensive on Alias, but I saw that I said no. I mean, I had to go into the basis of how it works. Mm. And it's just centrifugal forces being okay. used to cause water to be into droplets. Oh, okay. And that's what you need for when you are spraying. Oh, okay. So it's like the way a nozzle will spread it into mm. various droplets. That's what it does. Oh, okay. So yeah. this one purposely for spraying of water. Yes. Oh, okay. No, we need, we need Does it uh, flow come down like the way the shower in the bathroom works? Something like that. Oh, okay. Maybe more aggressive. Oh, okay. Wow. But this thing really spins fast and it creates a whole lot of pressure. Mm. Yeah. Oh, okay. So basically, is it used by farmers? Yes. Or so can be you also used to extinguish fire? Uh, the fire one is there. Okay. So that one, instead of the using this nozzle, you rather use a jet. Okay. Uh, and we'll be positioned at a 90, 90 degree mm. or parallel to the arms. Mm -hmm. so that will go head on. Oh, okay. Uh, but since it's for spraying, okay. we are going That's downwards. Right down. Wow. And that's why the nozzle is tilted that way. Oh, but you can okay. actually make it for that. Mm. Just put a high pump, or maybe the pump can be somewhere, you just fill the tube, and you can directly, because it has the, the strength to be able to let any water at all. Mm. So this one can be used by um, the farmers, right? Yes. Those who are into large scale of uh, product, production, right? Yeah. Okay. So how were you able to come up with that? I mean, my yeah, so I've actually gone through a whole... I, I can see some wires. Let me take a bit so that to be a bit lighter. Okay, <laughs> yeah, because um, I'm even really struggling over here. So this, this oh, is a okay. battery. Wow, so it's now... Uh, the weight has now reduced. <laughs> oh my goodness. So this small thing was doing the magic, yeah, eh? that's right. Oh, let, let me, let me hold that small thing. This thing has really disturbed me. Oh, okay. This, this is a wow. custom battery I built. It's a CSS battery, mm -hmm. about 10,000 milliamps. Wow. So heavy. Uh, okay, you've put in them together in that way, yes. then you've tightened. Oh, okay. 
Wow. So how many of these are in there? They're about uh, about thirty cells. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. So um, each one side is I think yeah thirty cells. Thirty, 30 cells. 30 cells. Oh. That's five, five, six. Wow. Okay. All right. So that is the battery that powers this particular drone. All right. So now um, there are a lot of wires in there. Yeah. Yes. What are the appliances here? So for a drone to work, uh -huh. you need um, a motor, uh -huh. which you can see here. Uh -huh. And the motor has to have a propeller. Okay. And every motor has its um, design propeller for it. So mm. you can't just use any propeller. It's like you pick this and then put it on this motor, you will not fly. Okay. Yes, you really fall. Mm. Yes. Yes. So the propeller on a motor, and inside here there is something called the ESC. Okay. Electronic speed controller. Mm. It's an electronic speed controller. It has two wires coming. I mean. Three wires going to the motor, okay. two wires going to battery, mm -hmm. and then three wires going to the control board, which is the flight controller. Mm. So some of the wires you see are power lines. Wherever you see red and black, okay. they are power lines. So oh, this is the right. main power line, uh -huh. which has two wires. Um, these are silicon wires in AWG14. Okay. If I connect them in parallel, they would allow more currents to flow. Okay. But we are dealing with about 100 amps of current. Yeah. And uh, 22 volts. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's a quite sizable power. Okay. So if you set short circuit right now, they will be fine. Mm -hmm. So we need very good wires to be able to supply all the current you need. Okay. So you can see the power, main power. Mm -hmm. is the power for the the nozzle. Mm -hmm. And then this one goes to the servo motor. Uh -huh. I had to invent a valve system okay. for this, this drone specifically. Uh -huh. So I realized that my pump wasn't stopping uh -huh. the water when I didn't need it to flow out. So uh -huh. I had to design a custom um, nozzle for it. You can come and capture. Uh -huh. Wow. With a custom nozzle. When I press anything here, uh -huh. it's going to actually react. Oh, okay. Wow. Bit, no, okay. Yeah. All right. So uh, that that controls when the water should flow and when it shouldn't flow. Oh, I see. And I control everything over with, here. With on this. This. Oh, okay. And the speed of the nozzle to be mm -hmm. done with this one. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, okay. So mm -hmm. that's with the power side and the motor. Yes. Now, the control side. This is a GPS model. Mm -hmm. It has a compass and a GPS model inside. Mm. So it's a composite thing. Hmm. GPS model with compass. Okay. And on the control board today, there is something called the barometer, hmm. which measures air pressure. Uh -huh. So there is a mode called altitude hold, where the drone will stay at where you leave it. Uh -huh. But it will be drifting around. If you have GPS, it will stay at that place, whether winds or not. Okay. But without the winds, with altitude hold, it can maintain its level uh -huh. because it's measuring the atmospheric pressure. Okay. Yeah. So there's a, a sensor like that, yeah. and then there is the gyroscope and accelerometer. Okay. Also on the board, which controls. I mean, it's in charge of telling the the lo logic mm -hmm. that okay, the drone is tilted, mm. or the drone is straight, or the drone is facing forward, or the drone is upside down, mm. and the logic, which is the programming that has been put on it, determines what to do. Mm. So if it is an auto level flight. Then once it tilts beyond the angle that you are not expecting it, that maybe a wind gust just hit it and it tries to. So the gyroscope will tell you, oh, it has moved this degree, so okay. let's correct it. Mm. Wow. And then the accelerometer will tell how fast or slow it did. Okay. And it will do that correction to be able to keep the drone stable. Okay. And without that sensor, you cannot fly any drone. Oh, I see. For mm -hmm. the other sensors I mentioned, you can without it, but mm. for Gyroscope and accelerometer, you can't do without it. Okay. Without that, you don't have a drone, you have a, a killing machine. <laughs> oh, such yeah, a, so interesting. Victim, not in yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. with, with the this one that the, the hand, right? Yes. Yeah, so okay. this I learned you can even meant for collapsing. Uh -huh. Uh -huh, okay. So I should be able to mm. break it off. Okay. And there's one technology used 3D printing. Mm. So this I have here, I've actually designed a software 
version of it. Oh, okay. I mean, a soft design of it mm. on a computer. Okay. So, anytime I want to mask this, I just have to continue printing or mm. put the oh, design wow. into there. It looks like a chest too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Oh, okay. So nice. So you can collapse, uh, bring down the hand yes. this way. Um, that is when you want to lift it and send it to a different place. Yes. Oh, so okay. you just lift it like this. Yeah. On your battery. Wow. 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 Yeah, wow. Really. Wow. Wow. Okay. Yes. So this is it. And that is um, Mr. Gideon right here, the man behind it I didn't actually about. okay we, we actually come into that one we actually come into that one and then right after that we're going to fly um the the drones in fact um when you take all the battery it's not that heavy yeah well the battery is on it it's very heavy but so how do you control it over here yeah so mm -hmm. every spectral drone controller mm. has and i actually built this myself oh okay the joysticks and everything yes looks at like the one we use to play games <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it has um, this has uh, seven channels. Okay, this is for you to control up and down for so the right. power. Mm. Now this is for yawing. Okay, so the thing would move on its axis uh, like this. Okay, then this is for left mm -hmm. and right. And right. Then this is for forward and back. And back. Okay. Then this is for changing your modes. Mm -hmm. So. This drone like this has three modes. Okay. It has a uh, stabilized mode. Mm -hmm. It has stabilized plus um, intelligent mode. Okay. And then the stabilized plus uh, there's one other mode. Uh, mm. That one is, is purely automatic. It doesn't stabilize. It doesn't do anything. Mm. Whatever the drone does is you. Okay. So you if you have to stabilize, you keep it. And it's for expert mm. drone um, pilots. Okay. Usually used in um, FPV flights. Mm. Yeah, those experts. It's actually an FPV flight controller I'm using. Okay. Yeah. So the it's stable one, it just gets in there. Yes, and then it doesn't stay. move. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. So as far as you are just keeping it in the position. Yeah. Yes. And then the second one. The other one. Mm -hmm. If you maybe if you, if a wing tilts this way, okay, it continues. Oh, okay. If it tilts this way, it will uh -huh. continue. Oh, I see. So, so it's movement is influenced by the yes, wind. Okay. The wind, and then your. So you have to make sure you are correcting. Okay. To move in your direction, your not direction. the wind's direction. Okay. So if you are pushing it forward, it continues going forward. Mm. If you leave the stick to come to the center, it will not self-balance oh, okay. it will continue going so oh, really? you push it back oh okay wow that's how it okay. works okay so how about this loop over here uh -huh. so this is the sit stand now mm -hmm. so this one if you have to control something from low to high mm -hmm. like maybe a speed or an angle mm -hmm. you can use this to control a joystick this kind of universal oh okay yes this that means you can, you can operate gimbal. these two, right? Yes. Oh, okay. It used to have a gimbal, so I could control the angle mm -hmm. of the camera. Oh, okay. Using this. Yes. And this is for switching on and off mm -hmm. something. Mm -hmm. Maybe a servo motor, a really, yeah. Okay. In flight. All right. Okay. So, are you done with this one, the controller? Yes. Okay. So, um, let's um, fly it first. Okay. But before that, I would want us to um, go through your challenges so far. You've been able to come out with not only these two, right? Um, yeah. I think there are about how many now? How many drones now? Uh, there's one there, the, the model of the man drone. Yes, 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 yes. And then there's one experimental one I, I'm actually building. Okay. And uh, the other ones, but those ones, they were just experiments. Okay. So these are the three main ones that I All right. have the line. So now the, the challenge is so far. Yeah, it's, it's actually been hard. Mm. Usually for us to build one. Okay. You have to wait a long while. Wow. It's usually not necessary. So for how long do you take to build one? This one like this has taken a while. Because um you no know, sometimes you have motors, you don't have controller. You yes. have controller, you don't um, have this. Okay. So you have to wait till they all amalgamate mm. into one. Yes. So to get to this far, mm -hmm. it's taking me almost like three years. Wow. But this is the fifth version I said I had done. Yes. Yeah. And it's so depending on I mean 
put into consideration the time okay you have to spend nights because mm. you can't do it on a normal day okay sometimes life challenges will face you in the day and then in the night you also yes. face it <laughs> so that's wow. when you really get to build mm. so you don't really sleep that much um mm. and in terms of the the money to you know these things you have to buy a filament uh, mm. before you can be able to so if there are no filaments you can't print anything okay um the components do like this no before i actually start building my own i have to buy from way so the motors on these ones i mm. bought them okay even though i have developed my own drone motor that i'm here to use mm. yeah so i have to buy this and they are expensive oh okay they wow. are not cheap at all mm. sometimes even the price okay. alone and then the shippings and all this stuff mm. So in an estimate, how much did you think put into this? Um, I would get roughly, okay. I can say, I don't even know how, because sometimes, something will get spoiled, you have to replace. Hmm. So let me grade it at 10,000. 10,000? Yes. So you used roughly 10,000 to come out with this one? Yeah. Wow, that is, um, is it the 100 million old currency? Wow, so huge. That small thing you see over here. 10,000 Ghana cities. So, do you work? Do you have an extra work? How were you able to finance this? Yes, I used to work um, at certain places. Okay. But uh, the work got, uh, how do I say? Collapsed or something? No, really. Okay. Okay, let's say I had to leave. Oh, okay. Yeah. Wow. Um, in certain circumstances. Yes. Like, uh, yes. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. those were. And I. When I started building, I had successes. Mm. I started to sell some of the parts. Oh, okay. So usually, for me to get new components, I have to sell components and then buy another yeah. one. Yes, that wow. is what I mean. Right, so uh, the money, the amount that you mentioned is somehow huge, but it's not that huge. Mm. It's minute to some people. It's minute to the government. It's something small. And so if he has been able to manufacture this with 10,000 Ghana cities, don't you think that if it's supported and sponsored with a huge amount of money, he can come out and build a lot of these and even bigger than these ones. I will actually ask him if he's having in mind some ideas to come up with bigger than this one. In fact, we had, uh, when we were having a previous conversation, we were even told that, I'm uh, talking about bagger conversation, we were even told that he is even coming out with one that will even make it possible for a human being to actually be inside. Yes, to fly with it up there. That one, um, we were actually going and have a look at the prototype. But what motivated that actual one? So I've uh, been, most of my inspiration, I get to YouTube, what the, the outside world are doing. Okay. You know, this is a dream I've had from childhood. But I always okay. thought, like, how, how possible it was, mm. how to fly myself. Okay. And it's something that is here. Yes, <laughs> wow. It's Ooh, here. Okay. Yeah, so when I saw the possibilities, I mm -hmm. said, okay, nice, mm. nice. Mm -hmm. That's the ultimate. Mm. So we we'll build these small ones, and finally, we have to be flying in drones. Wow. Yes, it's wow. a feature we cannot avoid. That is it. We can't avoid it, whether we like it or not. Wow. It's coming. Let the world know about the assistance that you need. What, what actual support do you need right now? Okay. Mm. So with the, um, the grace of God helping me to be able to come up with this, I am hoping that um, you know, there are people with money who are willing to be able to spare that money in investment. And hopefully, such money should be able to push this forward. This is an agric drone, this is a camera drone. We develop it into product our people here and even outside should be able to acquire it and also use it. Mm. You know, the independence is what I I look at. The ability to, for you to be able to have control over whatever you are using. Mm. And we've been able to build it here, mm -hmm. assemble it here. We have certain control over certain parameters. Mm -hmm. And we can manipulate it in however will fit us mm. so investment into these kind of things for our people is something that i can encourage anybody who has that desire and the money to be able to put we have been able to gather the technical knowledge and uh, all the things around it to be able to come up with this. so a, a, a helping hand 
that has the money aspect and also the business aspect. Good. Yeah, combined together, you should be able to send this further. Mm. Beyond the point we even to go. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So it all beholds on the money or the monetary aspect, right? Yeah, and the business and the advice. business. Okay. Wow. Aside these two financial factors, what other form of assistance? Do you have a look at this one? Do you have a look where you assemble all these? Again, I put everything in my small room. Wow. Yeah. I have this cute table. Yes. My, my computer right now is even damaged. Oh I'm my goodness. Mm. Um, but it still works. I use it. Okay. So that's what I use for the modeling. 3D printer does the printing. Mm. Um, I have a small tools box that I use to pick stuff from. Okay. To be able to put all these things together. Okay. Once in a while to um I have some friends around that I, I visit. Mm. We share knowledge. Maybe one or two of their tools I'll use it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, so you do all this in your room? Yes, in my room, basically. Without any um, showroom, wow. So we also plead into the public out there, to you, um, that this man deserves to have a workshop, deserves to have a showroom, in fact, so that he can feel comfortable and work and come up with a lot of these. In fact, he, the, the place should be furnished with um, the machines, the equipment, and all that that they will be um, they will be needed to come up with all this. So let us all come together to uh, rally behind him. He's a Ghanaian. He's our own. He's an African. Yes. Is our own and these are the people that we need to support we need to sponsor them and that is why we have come all the way from the Ashanti region Kumasi to the greater Accra region to let you know um, what he's doing and to let you listen to him directly what he has to say to the world and so please I have always been saying this that maybe the only help you can also give is to click on the share button share this particular video so that it gets to a lot of people so that together we can um, uh, I mean come out with massive support so that next time we are hoping that next time when we come around then we'll be coming around to let you know the uh, massive thing that has happened after this particular interview you can pick out our contact personally on the screen to get in touch with me if you want to reach out to our big brother over here you can pick up my contact and get in touch and then um, we will lead you to uh, Mr. Gideon you can also pick up Mr. Gideon's own contact and then you get in touch with you. You can get it at the description section. And we also try our possible best to put it on the screen for you to also have access to it so that you can also get in touch with the man is readily available for the country. Yes, it's readily available for the country. These are the talents that we need to come together to support. Yes, I am serious over here because sometimes seeing people like these walking around with all these ideas and all that, and then later on, you wouldn't even hear about him anymore. And then the talent will just die in that way. But this doesn't happen at another side of the world. Let us also try and help our own. My big brother, Let's assume someone watches this particular video. He has interest in your talent. He wants to assist, sponsor you. But he's ready to take you outside Ghana to go sponsor you outside Ghana for you to do more over there. Are you ready? Uh, it's a possibility. Okay. So we just have to consider I mean, the ins and outs and okay. advantages and disadvantages. Okay. And I'm a family man too. So. Okay. Yeah, but you have a wife, right? Yes. How many kids? Two kids. Two kids. Two kids. Wow. Very good. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna take it. <laughs> That's great. Okay. Yes, but it is it's a high possibility. Okay. Because outside the agent, you don't need to explain to people. For me, I say, um, as long as drones are going to stay, we are going to stay relevant. Relevant. Yes. Because it's getting to a certain level that I mean certain jobs will be out mm. so if you don't actually immerse yourself in this kind of technologies one day you say you can't find a job but yes <laughs> wow it was an opportunity you missed yesterday mm. yeah wow and uh, regardless of the fact that we are looking mm -hmm. for help we will not stop okay so one book uh, drone at a time one motor at a time wow until we get there because it's, it's started a long time ago. Wow, yes, that's great. <laughs> I like that spirit. Okay, so right now we are going to fly the drone. Yes, uh, we're going to actually 
get you time to watch how the drone flies i'll be behind it and if possible also take the control line there <laughs> all right so mr gideon you can start uh flying uh, any of these i think the, the smaller, smaller ones one, yes, yes. We'll fly mm. this for now okay wow um, uh -huh. so let me see if it's on okay it's on. so you tell us how what how we do it all and then uh -huh. okay mm -hmm. so this this guy i've seen a switch over here that's yes, the power so button that's right the power button. okay all right um Let's so I put the, it on. The, that's the power button over there. Oh, okay. So once it's on, mm -hmm. I have to make sure the drone is also on. So the transmitter mm -hmm. comes on first, mm -hmm. and then the drone comes on second. Okay. You see this beep four times. One, two, three, four. Okay. Yeah. Beep, 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 beep. Mm -hmm. So that means what does it mean? Four cells. Okay, four in cells. Series. Mm, okay. That's sixteen volts. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah. So every time you want to start it, it needs to beep. Yeah, it needs to beep. If okay. it doesn't beep, that means it hasn't calibrated. Oh, okay. The ESC2 has a microcontroller inside. All right. So it listens to signals and then it, um, it tells you what it has seen. Mm. So if it's not the right signal, you can't continue. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so so do, do you always need um, a windy environment before you can fly? No, it makes it even bad. Okay. Usually it's supposed to be calm. Calm. Okay. Yes. For you to be able to get a very stable flight. Mm. That's why gimbals are necessary. Yeah. So in case you get a sudden change in the wind speed and all of that, the gimbal can help you stabilize the, okay. the footage. All right. But winds are not favorable for drones mm, at for all. Drones, so okay. Yeah. All right. So now it has finished beeping. What next? So I'll set the channels. I have three channels here I used to reverse. Okay. You know, because I'm using different um, drones, mm. there's a, I'll say a code I input here. All right. So either I press this or this mm. or that or all of them okay. or any two or any one. Mm. So this one I have to press all three. Okay. Yes. And I one, saw the light. Be yes. Once yeah. you press, the light will show. Yeah. To tell you, okay, the command has been sent. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. Mm -hmm. So what next? So then once I do this, mm -hmm. uh, I think. I arm it by switching this to my right, mm. but it was already there, so mm -hmm. I put it back mm -hmm. to the normal position. Then I'll put it. Woo! Okay. Uh -huh. Oh wow. Okay, so I'm flying in the intelligent mode. Okay. So this one, usually when you're flying a drone, mm. you should always have the back behind you. Okay. If you want to get confused, with the mm -hmm. left, right, forward, and back. Mm. But this mode. You can turn it any way and then once you push backwards, it will come towards you. Oh, okay. Regardless of where it is facing. Yeah. Uh, it's actually good for uh, beginners. Okay. So this one, if the camera or any sen the sensor was attached, it would be able to capture um, whatever exactly. scene. So, exactly. Okay. Exactly. Wow. so this one is for footages, right? Yes, this is for footages. All right. Okay. So let's roll. Does it have time? After the rolling, does it have time before it can? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. You can just take off immediately. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. This, this is just to mm -hmm. keep all the motors at the same speed yes. before take off. Oh, okay. That's why it's essential for them to all spin. You yes. can actually program it so that once you arm, it won't spin. Okay. But once you try to take off, yes. but what happens is, um, you know, the gyros I talked about, mm -hmm. it's not on a level ground. Mm. So, some will now be stationary, some will now be spooling up so fast and okay. it will keep it unstable. Okay. So if they are already spinning, mm -hmm. it has already compensated for the uneven ground that it is sitting on. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so we are flying. <laughs> wow. So I'm checking that all my left, right, they are all okay. Okay. Wow. Wow. Okay, so um, that is the drone up there. And such a magnificent way. Wow. You see the way it is. Uh -huh. Now, the front side is facing the, the, the camera. The cameraman, yes. Now, you see, I push it back, it's still coming towards me. Uh -huh. If it was not in the intelligent mode, it would have gone towards you. Oh, okay. Ah. Oh, okay. But where the back is, that's where when you push back, it's supposed to go. Ah. But the intelligent mode gives you the flexibility. Okay. So you see, it's facing me now. Yeah. But I still push back, it's coming towards me. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. Ah. Wow. So it's very good for um, 
beginners and then when these situations like this where you don't have gps mm. you can direct the drone in any orientation and you so don't lose your your orientation wow 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 so that is the camera drone over there as you can see on your screens made by mr gideon mensa over here in Ashiye fulani inside accra that is uh, ghana west africa over here in fact this man is so talented that is not only this one he's uh, made a lot of these over here and uh, we need to support him seriously from the way i look at the drone flying up there in such a um a glorious way in fact we need to support all come together to support him so that he can come out with uh, more of these to help the country ghana and africa at large wow Oh, wow, 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 wow. It actually gives you the, the flexibility. Yes. Okay. Wow, so lovely. Okay, so now you know what? Um, uh, we are going to do it together, okay? <laughs> so we are going to do small, small. Okay. Uh -huh. So um, where do I press small so that you wouldn't... Okay, so uh -huh. you go this way. Okay. So I'll take off for you and then you will do the left, right? Oh, okay. Left, yeah, okay. yeah. Okay, so yeah. you take off for me. So wow. this plan am I? Okay, design. yes. So Done. today I'm going to be a, <laughs> a drone pilot. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. So now you look up to me. So now where do I press? Okay, so now uh -huh. you have to uh -huh. control it so that it will stay in the center. Okay. See what I'm doing? Yes. Uh -huh. So it's much more that way, eh? Yeah. Okay, let me see. Hey, 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 today. <laughs> hey, today. So you're doing little by little. Little by little, small, small, tiny, eh? Tiny, tiny, tiny. Okay, yeah. let me see. Let me try small, small. Uh, yeah, you bring it away from you. Okay. Always let it go stay uh -huh. away. Okay. Uh, okay, let me let me take it. Okay. <laughs> hey! Right. Yes. It's, 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 on your first okay. time, it's quite nervous. Yes. But if you take time, um, okay. you can do it. Yeah. But I'm sure um, next time when we come, I'll be able to um, fly it, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, we'll be, we'll be able to take it off from the start. Wow. So, uh -huh. um, this one I made it for me. For yourself? Yes. So, oh, okay. Since I've had the skills in piloting, yes. I'm able to... That's why you find it so easily exactly. working on it. Now, I'm actually... You see the, the manned drones model? Okay. I'm going to make it such that mm -hmm. you just press a button, take off. Yes, so... It will stay there until you tell it to go somewhere. Oh, okay. Uh, so in case you get confused, just leave that. Then that one, I think, will be somewhere yeah, easier. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, it's so interesting over here. Yeah, that's how we do it so over there, uh, over here in Ghana, to make it uh, look interesting for you watching us. Um, in no time, we bring the conversation to an end. In fact, you've actually get to know more about Mr. Gideon Mensah over here and as i told you that he, he, he hasn't come up with only these two he has um, a couple of them inside there so we'll actually go in there um, to also talk about that one briefly and then also show you where that he was said that he does them in the room in his in his room over there we'll show you the actual play the table he was talking about yes for you to know that now he's even having small things but he's coming out with big things and so let us all come together to support him as i said earlier so that he can get the necessary the needed equipment and the materials to do more okay so we are currently inside the room of mr gideon that is this is where he does all the works according to what he said and this very small room not a workshop not a showroom but in his own um, living this is a living room right very good this is where he does everything i'll let him himself talk about it how he, so how are you able to do all these over here how how do you do it <laughs> it's actually amazing um, wow especially with two small kids you can yes. imagine uh, oh okay wow yeah. that, so one can take this and then trade away as well oh my goodness this one when i i put them put them here you come and then mm -hmm. 
a leg is like this. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, okay, six months old. Oh, uh -huh. he started crawling and then, I mean, he's touching everything. Oh my goodness! Wow. But we try and manage. Um, oh, okay. You no, know, because we build the systems small piece so, by small okay. piece and then we put them together. Yeah. Try and manage them. Mm. Yeah. So this one like this. When I'm storing it, I keep it collapsed. Okay. Mm. Yes. Mm. When I was building it, I built it arm by arm. You can see the connections and everything. Yeah. I just cut small pieces, join them together, okay. build the final thing. Mm. And then I find a way to store it. Mm. Once in a while, they'll break a leg. <laughs> oh, I see. All right. So um, this one that I'm holding, I think it's also a different type, yes. a different model. Different oh, okay. You can see it has mm -hmm. two big motors. Yeah. Four. Tiny motors. Yeah, so okay. So it functions like a helicopter, mm. but its movement or directional control is not based on a swatch plate and then collective and then cyclic movement. Okay. This is like a normal part. Mm -hmm. So the normal part system is able to balance mm. and cause it to move in all the directions. Okay. But this, the main lifting force is these two. Mm. Yeah, it's a new thing I was I had done. One experiment which worked heavily, wow. very nice. Okay. Yeah, so this is the second version that I'm doing. Okay. That one had, I think, four corners. Mm. But this one, I decided to just make it one corner. Okay. And let this one be. Mm. This one, I want to do it again. It looks okay. like an animal. Yes, oh, yes. I want to look at it from this side. Yes. Doesn't it look like a certain bed or? Yeah, it looks something. Yeah, like an eagle's okay, no, yeah. something like that. <laughs> All right, so you you check it for us. What animal does it resemble? Does it look like is it an, like an eagle or? Yeah, you put it in the comments. Yeah, so put it at the comment section. Let's see who will get it correct. Uh, all right. So um, let's let's talk about this one. Yes, yes, yes. This one you said. Uh huh. You want to build a big one that yeah, one yeah. can actually be in there. So this will be the seat. Yeah, the oh, Okay. Oh, okay. And then the back will be for payloads, like the passenger, mm -hmm. passengers. Oh, okay, can also get in there. Yeah. Wow. And the battery and everything will be at the top side. So oh, okay. The middle of man will also be at the down. Mm -hmm. Sure. Oh. Okay. It will be an automatic flight. There's nothing like. Uh, Controlling and blah 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 and all that. Oh, I see. So that these are the stands. Yes. Okay. And the. Um, so it's a it's a this um a Y six mm. configuration. So it has six motors uh -huh. and it's in the form of a Y. Mm. So it's called a Y six configuration. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. actually very stable. Like it looks like a catapult uh, though. Well, you can get videos of it uh, flying. Mm. Very stable. Okay. Let me say. <laughs> Catapult, you know, in the olden days, you, you just stretch like this. <laughs> oh, yes, am I lying? It looks uh, like a catapult, but it's, it's, so, it's so nice. And with these six, uh, so this one, two, three, four, and then five and six over here. Okay, so this are also other investors. Let's talk about the robots. I've seen um, yeah. some of them over here. Oh, okay, so let's get down to their level mm -hmm. and talk about them. Uh -huh. so this, this, this uh -huh. is an upcoming thing. I've not seen anyone do something like that. Wow. Um, and this is all knowledge I've built on till now. Okay. And uh -huh. the control side is actually going to be imported from drone technology. Okay. Uh huh. So it's a football kind of. I've just built two players. Mm -hmm. This can actually be in one team. Okay. Where you can control all from one controller. Mm -hmm. And you can control all together. You can switch. In between the two to mm -hmm. control the ball for, I mean, scoring your goals. Okay. And he has an, um, a grabbing arm mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. a striking arm. Mm -hmm. Let me leave this one. It's not connected to the service that I can hit it hard. Oh, I see. <laughs> wow. Yeah, so you can direct it left, right, whatever. So this one will be playing the ball, right? Yes. Oh, okay. That's actually a very nice toy. Wow. And imagine your child building this themselves. Wow. It's just wow. going to be amazing. Wow. Because the kind of knowledge you need mm. after building this, in fact, you can do anything in the house. You can repair anything in the house. Wow. If you're able to build these robots. Yeah. You can repair lights. So now children will now have the ability, mm -hmm. if a child can go through this kind of training, mm. will have the ability to 
repair things and not spoil things. Mm. But we understand how they work. Yes. But you know how a motor works, mm -hmm. you know how a fan works, mm -hmm. you know how a switch works, you know how the socket works. Mm -hmm. Wow. So um, if you're watching us now and you want your kids, your children, whoever, you want the person to learn these robotics and all these, if I recommend this man, um, you get in touch with this man so that he gets time to train you. It may even be your, your own. You want to learn all this. I think uh, it's going to be awesome in that way. Wow. So let's say it gets the ball this way and then it plays it like this. Wow. I can't okay. very hard. Yeah. Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> so I scored a goal. Oh, lovely! Wow, 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 wow! Oh, okay. Uh, uh -huh. So this will be attacking the other, the, 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 the opponent, right? So if you're able to hit it very hard, you mm -hmm. can you can lose its grip. Oh, okay. And you will go and quickly take control. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. So I'm going to put on a situation to be a little smart. Maybe okay. you can just press a button. Okay. If you just lie, this will open up. Uh -huh. And then by the time you get there, it should just grab the ball. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that I'll say this is version one. Okay. You know, this is version two. Like okay. this is the version one we moved. Uh -huh. That's in 2017 in Kumase. Uh -huh. At a place called Kumase High. Uh -huh. And this is version two. Okay. Um, this area is where the battery is and everything. Uh -huh. Wow. Wow. Yeah. wow, 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 this is a CNC mm -hmm. machine. Okay. So it has mm -hmm. three axes. Um, actually, this is two axes. Mm -hmm. So you can move mm -hmm. this way. Okay. Mm -hmm. You can move this way. And it has a laser head on top of it. Oh, okay. Mm, I'm not done with it yet. I've not secured joints. Mm -hmm. So even this place, I'm going to put um, a mechanism where it can control the up and down. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the laser model, mm. once I connect it to my computer, mm. the computer, I would have loaded a file to it, mm -hmm. which I've designed in my modeling software. Mm. So I can model something like this shape, mm. the circles on top, mm -hmm. and then the laser can either engrave this design on wood, mm. or it can cut it out. Mm -hmm. On the same material, mm. you see that it's cutting out depending on the power you are using, or it's just marking it for you to just see the design on top. Mm. And this technology you can also use it for building on drones, okay. where you can use it to cut your parts. Mm. So if you look at this one like this, the top part is a flat plate. Yes. And once you put in the design, you can cut it out for you without stress. Oh, I see. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. So that's, that's the CNC technology. 3D okay. printing to is another CNC technology, but this does it in all three dimensions. Okay. So it actually builds the things. All these things are 3D printing mm. technology. Wow, wow, uh, wow. Okay, so that is Mr. Gideon Mensa. Um, all these that you see over here. Uh, massive innovations that were made by himself yes and he's ready for whatever sponsors that you um, or whatever sponsorship that you can have for him whatever assistance whatever support he's ready to accept it to be able to um, make more of these and if you also want to learn if you need these types of trainings he's also ready to train you wherever you are you just get in touch with him and then he's actually going to um, um, train you to become perfect in that and so we will be leaving um, that is the room the room where he does almost everything together with the kids over here yes and you can imagine how kids pick things and then be throwing them away and all that how kids will be destroying stuff it's just not and it's everywhere and so let us try to get him um, of this place so that all these machines all these equipment will be at a showroom 
you'll get more time to concentrate on the work. He's been in this room and he's been able to uh, manufacture all this. Oh, come on. Think up with me over here. How much more do you think you'll be able to do when he's having a showroom? When he's having a workshop? When he's having a room furnished with all the machines and the things, the equipment that he, he needs? Let us come together to support him. Once again, you can pick out our contacts on the screen, either myself or uh, his contact. Get in touch with us and then he will lead you straight away to his place. And then we also let the world know what you have done. Yes, if only um, you, you, you like or prefer that. You let the world know that, hey, this person has been able to, or these people, or this government has been able to help Mr. Gideon. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to click on the subscribe button to be part of this wonderful family share so that other people can also um, watch and watch and watch it. <laughs> Sharing what I tell now, viewers out there. Yes, uh, so subscribe to um, the channel. Great. And then keep sharing, keep Very watching, good. I believe. And also like it. So I heard when you like yes. it. Yes. I this great. Very good. So like the videos, mm. go through all the videos, like it. Mm. I mean, Africa has a whole lot of talent, and if we can support our own, we can push ourselves forward. Great. Yeah. Great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Whether in Ghana, Nigeria, South Africa, wherever, UK, America, European country, wherever. Just place it in the comment section where you're watching us from and we will be glad to read your comment. Mr. Gideon, we are about to um, bring to an end the conversation. Okay. Your final words to the public out there. Um, so, aside, you know, I also have one passion. Okay. And it's for the young people. I even consciously created this uh, YouTube. Sorry. What's up? Okay. I actually have a YouTube channel to like put some of my and a TikTok channel. Okay. It's called um, uh -huh. the name is Pascade. Okay. J Mensa on, okay. on TikTok and Facebook. Oh, okay. How about the Facebook? Uh, the YouTube? The YouTube is uh, Pascade Genius. Okay. Normal Genius. Why don't you kind of it? Yeah. So okay. you find exciting videos of that. Very good. Yeah. And there was something like this is past people that I who have this kind of interest. Okay. Who also do this? Wow. Yes, just like us. Wow. Yeah, maybe they are doing it in a smaller way, but I hope to bring them together one day. I believe that I will get so much money, I should be able to yeah. put them together. Wow. We sponsor ourselves, we build, we show the world what we can do. And true, even that factories um, will be built. Wow. Industries will be built. Uh, Workforces can be created, employment can be created. That's the ultimate goal to get employment out there, products out there for Africans. Yes. Wow. So you have also put people together, uh, training them, right? I have a passion for the youth. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I have a passion for the youth. Mm -hmm. And it's my hope that the youth can gain this knowledge. Mm. And um, so if there's any school, there's any institution, there's any uh, body or individual who wants to learn from you, okay. Can contact me. Oh, okay. All right. So you are available as well to teach other people, okay. All right, okay. Um, okay, so um, if someone wants to learn from you, you are readily available, all right? Is there any uh, thing the person needs to pass through or the person needs to come around with some equipment or stuff? Uh, basically, um, mm. no, because of the distance barrier, people are scattered all. I'll just suggest to get a few things. Okay. Mm. So if it's drone kits, um, drone that you want to learn, there is a kit that you need to acquire. Mm -hmm. There's a kit you need to acquire. Okay. But for the basics, you just need a few motors you can get from the electronic shop. Mm. Wires, batteries. Okay. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah. So based on what you want to learn, mm. but I've managed to go through almost all the processes you need to go through. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
all right uh, so um that is where we bring the conversation to an end um i must thank you for having time to watch this particular episode of the discovery videos actually this channel is basically for um, discovering people with special talent in our country and across um, the African continent and that is what has made us come over here into the capital city Accra to discover um, these um, talented people. Mr. Gideon Mensah is ready available to assist and help anyone train anyone who is ready and who wants to learn some of all these and other robotics that he's also into and then also he's in need of our assistance our support massively from the government from NGOs from any other individuals wherever any other person at all wherever you're watching us from I know for sure Ghanaians are watching uh, people are watching from the, any of the other African countries and across the globe wherever you're watching us from please i am pleading with you let us all come together to support this brilliant man out of 100 people you can get Mr. one two three of um, his type yes and so if we are fortunate to have someone like this on this continent please let us make him big let us assist him let us promote our own I've always been saying that, please, maybe the only way you can also support is to share this video. Kindly click on the share button. It wouldn't take much of your time, just a few seconds. Let us continue to share this particular video um, for uh, the love for our African brother so that we can get the support that we need, the support that we want for him. Thank you so much. God bless you. Till the next episode, all that I'm saying is that have a brilliant day. Take good care of yourself and may God be with you.